Let's go back up to the top level and consider the types of things that we tend to see when a team is struggling to produce good embedded software. Here's a top 10 list. Number one, software time estimates are driven by external dates instead of an honest appraisal of how long it will take to create high quality software. Number two, process steps are skipped during schedule crunches. Number three, software development is simply coding plus testing and doesn't involve the rest of a good design process. Number four, poor traceability from product test to requirements, so the requirements don't match up with the tests. Number five, bugs due to poor code style and spaghetti code complexity. Number six, bugs in software fault detection and recovery. Exceptions just aren't handled well. Number seven, no security plan, no safety plan. Number eight, the tester to developer ratio is too far away from about one tester for each developer. Number nine, more than about five to 10% of bugs are found in product test, which means that too many bugs are getting through the rest of the design process. And number 10, fewer than half the defects are being found by peer review.